Hi everyone, today I will go over 9 steps to naturalization to help you understand the process of becoming a US citizen. Step 1. Determine if you are already a US citizen. So you can become a US citizen by birth or through naturalization. Generally, people are US citizens if they are born in the United States or if they are born abroad to US citizens. You may also derive your citizenship if you were under 18 and a lawful permanent resident when one or both of your parents naturalized or after adoption by a U.S. citizen parent. Step 2. Determine your eligibility to become a U.S. citizen. So in general, you may qualify for naturalization if you are at least 18 years old and have been a permanent resident for at least 5 years or 3 years if you are married to a U.S. citizen and meets all other eligibility requirements. You may also qualify for naturalization based on military service, which has different requirements. Step three, prepare form N-400, the application for naturalization. When you meet all requirements to become a US citizen, complete form N-400 to apply for naturalization. You can create an account and file your N-400 online which allows you to receive case status alerts, see all case correspondence, check your case status, update personal information or evidence. Step number four would be to submit your form N-400. Submit your application, documents and fees to USCIS. Once you submit your form N-400 and get a receipt notice, you can check current processing times and the status of your application by visiting uscis.gov. Refer to Form N-400 instructions for additional documentary requirements. Keep a copy of your completed N-400 and any supporting evidence for your records. You will be required to answer questions about your N-400 at your naturalization interview. Step number five, go to the biometrics appointment. USCIS requires applicants to be fingerprinted and photographed for the purpose of conducting FBI criminal background checks. In some cases, USCIS may be able to reuse fingerprints and photographs that were previously taken to conduct the required background checks. You will either receive a notice that your biometrics have been reused, or if new biometrics are required, you will receive a notice of a biometrics appointment. All applicants must have background checks completed before USCIS will schedule an interview. Step six is to complete the interview. Once all the preliminary processes on your case are complete, USCIS will schedule an interview with you. You must report to the USCIS office at the date and time on your appointment notice. Please bring the appointment notice with you. It is very important not to miss your interview. If you must miss your interview, follow the instructions on the appointment notice as soon as possible about how to contact the office to reschedule your interview. Reschedule an interview may add several months to the naturalization process, so make all attempts to attend your original interview date. And here's what to expect at the interview. At the interview, you will meet with a USCIS officer and answer questions about your form N-400. You will take the English and civics tests, unless you're exempt. In some cases, the USCIS officer will not be able to make a decision on your Form N-400 the day of your interview. In those cases, they will continue to review your case. This may include a request for you to provide additional evidence or require a second interview. USCIS will provide you with a notice of interview results following your interview. If the USCIS officer determines you need to provide additional documents or evidence, USCIS may ask you to submit additional documents by giving you Form N-14. You will need to provide the additional documentation requested to continue the naturalization process. If you fail the English or civics tests or both, USCIS will schedule you to come back for another interview within 60 to 90 days of your first interview and retest you on the part that you failed. USCIS will deny your Form N-400 if you fail the test a second time. Step seven is to receive a decision from USCIS on your Form N-400. You will be issued a written notice of decision. USCIS may approve your Form N-400 if the evidence on record establishes your eligibility for naturalization. 
USCIS will deny your Form N-400 if the evidence on record establishes you are not eligible for naturalization. If your application is denied, you'll receive a notice from USCIS explaining the reason for the denial. If you believe that USCIS incorrectly denied your Form N-400, you may request a hearing to appeal this decision. Step 8 is to receive a notice to take the oath of allegiance. USCIS will mail you a notification with the date, time, and location of your scheduled oath ceremony. In some limited circumstances, you may be able to participate in an oath ceremony on the same day as your interview. If you cannot attend the oath ceremony on the day USCIS scheduled you, follow the instructions on the N-445, the Notice of Naturalization Oath Ceremony, on how to notify your local USCIS office and ask USCIS to reschedule you. And lastly, take the Oath of Allegiance to the United States. You are not a US citizen until you take the Oath of Allegiance at a naturalization ceremony. The oath is administered by USCIS as an administrative ceremony or by a judge in a judicial ceremony. A court has exclusive authority to conduct the ceremonies in certain USCIS districts. You receive your certificate of naturalization after taking the oath of allegiance. And here is what to do. Complete the questionnaire form in 445, check in with USCIS for your oath ceremony, a USCIS officer will review your responses to Form N-445, turn in your green card, take the oath of allegiance to become a US citizen, and receive your certificate of naturalization, and be sure to review it before leaving the ceremony site. Notify USCIS of any corrections to your certificates at that time. Now that's all. Thank you for watching.